What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the first informed Gareth Bale card to review today. A player I had haven't actually reviewed this year. So I'm expecting good stuff simply because his card actually looks pretty decent. He's got 90 pace, 87 shooting, 83 dribbling, 85 passing with the 76 physicals as well. He is currently going for 180,000 coins and that is before Foot Champ Awards. So he will be dropping in price probably a decent amount of after foot champ awards now when it comes down to comparing him to his original gold card we are looking at a plus two to pace a plus three to shooting a plus three to passing a plus three to dribbling a plus two to defending and a plus three to physicals as well he is a six foot one player with medium medium work rates four star skill moves and a three star weak foot the weak foot you know is not the greatest but we'll give it a go we're gonna see how it goes when it comes down to his shooting ability now the chem style i've actually gone for is the finisher chem style the other chem style that you could go for is the engine chem style if you want to give him that bit more extra pace to his game but for me personally i feel like he would benefit way more of 10 agility than 10 balance so finisher chem style for me is the way to go so he has got 88 acceleration with the 91 sprint speed so he is definitely a fast player his shooting ability looks absolutely insane 91 attacking positioning 99 finishing 99 shot power do I have to say anything else? He's got 90 long shots as well. 98 volleys with the 84 penalties. Does he have any shooting traits? He does. He has the outside foot shot trait. And I'm actually quite surprised he doesn't have the finesse shot trait. Like, I'm honestly surprised about it. But either way, when it comes down to his passing ability, he's got 82 vision, 90 crossing, 90 freaky accuracy, 83 short passing, 82 long passing with the 93 curve. His passing ability isn't actually too bad. And you could low-key play this guy in like a cam position if you really want to. Now, when it comes down to his dribbling ability, he's got 91 agility, 72 balance, which is, you know, not the greatest for a six foot one player. But he has got 82 reactions, 86 ball control, 98 dribbling with the 88 composure his defensive ability doesn't look too bad but i'm not going to bother reading them out when it comes down to the physicals though 85 jumping with 87 heading accuracy very nice but a thing that i don't like is 73 stamina that is going to be a huge killer for this card the fact that he can't even last for like the 80th minute maybe not even to the 70th minute that is going to be an issue but he has got 80 strength with the 68 aggression as well now the thing of bale i never really really enjoyed him in past fifas because of his like body type his body type is a very weird body type it's a unique body type but it's like it's a bit I don't know, it's a bit weird when it comes down to his dribbling, so we might actually have that issue today, but I don't want to judge a bit too early, you know? When it comes down to links, he's obviously from the Prem, he, play, he you know, he plays for Tottenham, so it's very easy to link this guy up with. I've gone for Curtis Jones and your boy Trent. I've also liked Aguero, Mason Mount and McTominay in this team as well. I will be playing Bale in a 4-4-2 in that striker position, in a 4-2-3-1 in that cam position and in that ram position as well down the line. But let's get into the games. Mount on the ball, give it to Bale, well played, that's a nice little turn as well, great acceleration, good turn, little hill to hill, get that power shot towards in the pose, and we are what, four minutes in, and we have ourselves a goal, and we have ourselves a pause, and we have ourselves a rage crit. RBA straight up to Bale, we're going to bridge it into the open space, little ball roll, he feels nice boys, he feels nice on the ball, hold up a second, we might actually have another goal, look at that dribbling. No, no, I tried to take an extra... Wait, hold up. No, give it back to him. Little fake shot. No, come on. We had three opportunities as well. Going to go for this wide ball with Bale. That's a perfect pass. Oh my God, well played. Going to power shot it towards the near post. You see, these kind of opportunities, you're expecting him to, you know, score. Because it's a wide open opportunity. A 1v1 versus the keeper. Especially with the guy moving the keeper the wrong way. It's 100% a goal. Nice little tackle there by Carlos Alberto. Give it to Bale. Good turn. Ball roll. Can we get lucky? We have got lucky. I'm going to go for a finesse shot. Oh my god. For a second, I thought he was going top bins. Going to give it to Apos, to Son, over to Bale. That was decent movement as well. I saw he was trying to go into that opportunity. Is he going to run up? He does run up. Yeah, his movement in that striker position is very nice. Like, you can actually see him coming down, then going back up, trying to give me those passing options. And then, look, he comes into the little, you know, into the, like, the D area and just gives me the just gives me that passing option once again. But, yeah, really good movement. Let's see if we can get a finesse shot. Can it go in? Oh, that's close. That is very close. 
Nice, well played. Going to go for an LBY all the way over to the other side. And it is going to be a perfect pass. Carlos Alberto running up here. Going to give it to Bale. Maybe a quick one too. Try to get him in behind. Little ball roll. Nah, he just wasn't fast enough. That's that kind of area that you think to yourself, if you maybe had him on like an engine chem style, he would have been faster and he would have got into that opportunity. But the thing is, I feel like that plus 10 agility, you know, over that plus 10 balance is going to be huge. It really is. Nice old pass for Son. Well played. Give it to Bale. Little ball roll. Can we go for the finesse shot? Can we get the goal? We can get the goal, finally. We've had a lot of long shots, and we've had a lot of opportunities to go for these finesse shots. But the thing is, right, he hasn't got the trait. So it's like, it's going to be good, but it's never going to be super consistent. Because that finesse shot trait, boys, I'm telling you, it makes the biggest difference in this game. Can a ball roll? LBY to the other side. His passing ability, wow. I'm honestly shocked how consistent it is because I've done that pass like three times now just by holding LBY pretty much full power and it's literally ram it onto the player dead on or it allows them to run onto it, which is really, really nice. RBA, it's a good touch. I like how he takes those touches around the corners. Like he has that little acceleration touch, which a lot of players don't actually have, but he's got it and it's really good because it allows me to beat players quite quickly. To my boy Bale. Should we go for it? Why not? Let's go for the for the Oh my god, boys. If that went in, oh wow. It would have probably been one of our best goals when it comes down to reviews. It would have been crazy, especially at the angle it actually was at. Gonna go for a little A pass into middle. That's well played. I'm gonna go for an LBY this time with the weaker foot, and that is what I expected. Time to time, that is gonna happen. It really is. Like at the three star weak foot, when it comes down to passing, I feel like it's enough, but it's not gonna be guaranteed to go onto the player. Like if I do that again with Bale, I reckon it probably will like perfectly land on the player. It's just it's gonna be a bit inconsistent with that weaker foot. So it is time to review him. Three games played, three goals scored. Unfortunately, we did. Did not get an assist of him, but it is what it is. I had a lot of fun using his bail card and more fun than I expected because I thought he's that that unique body type was going to get in the way. I really did. I thought it was going to be a situation of his unique body type is going to get way of, in the way of the dribbling and it's going to become, you know, very, very sluggish in some areas, let's say. Well, it wasn't. I was honestly shocked it wasn't, but his balance, I must admit, you do see it time to time, but you don't see it as much as, you know, you would feel like you would see it. Like, it's one of those ones where you would think to yourself, oh, if he, if you try to turn out like a tight angle, he's going to do that like falling over animation. Trust me, he doesn't. The only times he actually does it is when he's getting pressured a little bit. Now, when it comes down to his price, did I, do I believe Bale is worth 180k? No. The reason I say no is because I personally would not spend 180k on a player that has got a three-star weak foot and a player that's got 73 stamina. It's just not it. Like 73 stamina is a big, big issue, especially with this guy playing amazing in that cam position. You would like him to last for the whole 90 minutes, but unfortunately, the cam position for me personally is the, is the position that uses the most stamina and him only having 73 is never ever ever gonna end well either way let's get into the ratings pace wise he was fast he just wasn't insanely fast like if you send this guy on a run he obviously get on to the end of it but then he will eventually actually get caught up to so for pace i am gonna give him i would honestly say like an 8.7 out of 10 shooting ability loved it really really did love it left foot was beautiful the only thing i would say is if he had the finesse shot trait we would walk away with like five or six goals now with the right foot it was okay like, it had a lot of shot power, but the accuracy on it wasn't, you know, it wasn't outstandingly good. So, for shooting, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like, an 8.6 out of 10. Really nice. If that 3-star weak foot was, like, a 4-star, <laughs> we would boost out by a decent amount. Let's just say that. Passing ability, you saw it. Left foot, beautiful. Right foot, inconsistent. And that is something you are going to see with a 3-star weak foot time to time, you know. So, for passing, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like, a an 8.4 out of 10. 10. Dribbling ability, really did enjoy it. Like, really, really did enjoy it. And I'm really impressed on how agile he was on the ball. So, for dribbling, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like an 8.7 slash an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's definitely, definitely up there. And when it comes down to the physicals, the strength was okay. But the only issue was, was the fact that he doesn't have a lot of strength to his game. And he doesn't have a lot of aggression to his game. So, once he gets into the situation to use his strength, he kind of gets bodied off the ball and goes.
goes into that falling over animation because of that balance. That is the big, big issue about this card. And once again, stamina not being the greatest, I have to give him a low rating when it comes down to physicals. And it is going to be, I'll probably low it to like a 7.4, 7.5 out of 10. Really, really disappointed when it comes down to the physicals. But an overall rating out of 10. I am going to give this card, I would honestly say, I'll probably say like an 8.4 out of 10. I'm telling you boys, like, if this guy had stamina and he had, a like, an upgraded weaker foot, he would be, like, up there. He really, really would. But because he's got those issues, you can't give him a really high rating. You really can't. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.